morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Sunday, March 24th. Whenever I go away, I lose track of what day it is, but I know it's Sunday, uh, March 24th. And our devotions, of course, are coming from the Bible devotion of the Bible promise book devotional for women. And we are in week 12 of the year 2024. And our focus for week 12 is God's love. Our devotion today is entitled Take His Hand. Our scripture comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13, out of the new NIV version, <coughs> new international, <coughs> excuse me, spring pollen. Yeah. It reads, I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. I love scriptures like that. They really, really are helpful to me. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Visit any mall or shopping center. If a child is walking with her parents, there's a good chance she's holding hands. Kids instinctively reach for mom's hand when they're nervous or just want assurance that everything is going to be all right. This gesture that delivers confidence to a child and delight to parents is how God deals with you and me. He uses that word picture to describe his care and promise to be present during life's most stressful moments. If you think of the worst life issue you've ever experienced, you should add the word picture of God holding your hand through it. Imagine his words, do not fear, I will help you. When you deal with others who are going through similar pain and need assurance, remember today's verse and share this reassuring picture with them. Another one is the footprints in the sand. It says I'm walking with you, but there's only one set. Well, that's when I carried you, that whole, it's a comforting kind of, image to imagine or think of when you're going through difficult times. There's no truth to the statement, God helps those who help themselves. That's not in the Bible. You should work hard, do your best and complete tasks. Maybe that's what people are referring to. However, he himself holds your right hand. So your future is never left to blind chance. Okay. It's not a roll of the dice. He's with you in every moment of joy and instance of sorrow. Take his hand. Feel accepted. It's really important for us, especially if we're going through something difficult, to remember that the Lord is there for us. He's as close as the mention of his name. All we have to do is cry out to him. He's our ever-present help in our time of trouble. He will take our hand and walk us through and guide us through whatever it is we're facing. Difficult sorrow, difficulties, sorrows, challenges, trials, happiness, joy, whatever it is. God is there with us. He wants to be there with us. And using the um, analogy of a parent-child relationship. If you're a parent, you know how easy that is to understand the love and care for your children. Um, anybody, even if you're not a parent, you know that you may have a similar dynamic relationship um, with people in your life. And it's important to know that God is there for you. You just have to call out on him. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the safety and the assurance that we know that you are our refuge. You are our shelter. You are our ever-present help in our time of trouble. And that when we are lost in fear and crushed by stress, that you help us. Help us, Lord, to feel your presence, to feel your hand in our hand, to guide us through those difficulties. Give us eyes that see, Lord, and ears that hear, that we can feel the comforting assurance of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. 
come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. I'm in a bedroom in the Airbnb that we're staying in. Nobody slept here. We kind of stationed our, because um, this is a home that someone um, uses periodically for her grandchildren's visits or whatever. And so this is the boys' room, and I love this mural back here. And I thought, ooh, I've got to film my devotion there in the morning. Everybody's up and about, so I didn't want to be out in the public spaces, you know, because they're watching television. So I thought, I'll just come back here where it's nice and quiet. We had a wonderful day yesterday. It was filled with all kinds of, you know, happy meetings. And my twin sister and I dressed the same, which created quite a stir all day long. Feeling like a celebrity because everybody's like, oh, oh, wow. And then our, our regent, the gal who's in charge of our chapter, <clears throat> although I'm a chapter officer, I'm her chaplain, and my twin sister is the recording secretary. Uh, she was hearing the buzz about us before we ever ran into each other. <laughs> So it was like, okay. And then we had the Regents dinner last night, which was a formal affair. So I was in a tiara and gloves and a formal gown. My sister and I had the same gown. I think I told you guys that I wound up ordering two. And so we looked, you know, there were some differences. I had different jewelry. She had a different tiara, but you know, different handbags, but enough there that everybody was still quite a stir. I think, you know, I don't mind capitalizing on the twin thing because I like being a twin. I like... I like uh, having someone there next to me that looks just like me and, you know, it's fun. We're going to go look today and see if we can um, order some of the pictures. The photographers that were there, the official photographers, were identical twins too. So they were getting pictures of us too because they thought it was fun. And there was another set of twins. It was just a great weekend of uh, learning and honoring in our for the state, um, for the DAR state conference, this is where all of the districts in the state of Virginia, all the DAR chapters, I'm in district one and there's eight districts. Um, we're honored and given the awards we've earned for the year 2023 for our civic duty, for honoring of the veterans, the different things that we stand up for, the education, American Indian Committee, uh, Constitution Week. I mean, all the different activities that we do that makes an impact on our own individual communities that's what we're recognized for excellence in you know volunteer hours and the different things so it's we're a service organization we definitely are about serving our communities volunteering honoring our veterans education historic preservation different things like that so it was fun to hear and, and learn about the different things the other ladies are doing to see friends to make new ones it was really a great weekend and today we're going to be heading back home. I'm only about a 45 minute drive from home. So it's easy for me to pop up here to Williamsburg. And I love it. It's one of my favorite places to go in the state of Virginia. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday and bye until next time.